this looks amazing. So guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a seafood mac and cheese or um, seafood macaroni pie bake. And I'm just showing you the ingredients. So I've seasoned some salmon. The seafood that I'm going to use in this is going to be salmon and prawns. So I've seasoned some salmon. Um, the salmon that I'm going to use, I've took the skin off. I don't think I showed you in this video. But I seasoned it with all bay seafood seasoning like you know that one seasoning that we all use for seafood so in our macaroni pie or macaroni uh, mac and cheese we're gonna have mozzarella we're gonna have parmigiano reggiano we're gonna have red leicester for the color and of course our uh, king prawns which i've already um which i've already cleaned deveined um and seasoned we're gonna be using like the twist the twist curly type of pasta and um obviously double cream you know we're gonna do a bechamel sauce but right now i think i was just um showing you all of the products that we are going to be using um there is a double cream <laughs> all the products that we're going to be using and we're going to just roast this salmon in the oven we're going to try and get it to about a medium well type of cook and then it's out of the oven it looks so good i'm just showing you that it's fully cooked through but not like dry 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 so i'm just gonna now take that salmon and flake it basically i'm only using one there's a pasta but i'm only using one of the fillets the other one i'll just use in a salad or something um but i'm gonna flake that that salmon and get it ready for when the pasta is finished ideally you should already start boiling your pasta but you know I haven't cooked on my channel in so long I was trying to take my time but as you can see I've grated the red Leicester um, cheese or it's considered cheddar in the US and I've grated the Parmigiano Reg Reggiano what did I just say before I can't remember and you see the king prawns there so we're gonna go and get ready to cook the king prawns at this screen you'll see me um, get the boiling water there for the pasta and you know heavily salted you want salt water <laughs> to cook your pasta so we're just gonna get that on and you see my horrible pot it's been with me for so long but we're gonna get frying up or cooking our prawns now with the prawns you don't want to overcook them either you don't want to overcook anything really because it's gonna cook in the oven so just getting the oil in the pot and we're gonna start frying up our prawns because why not i think i used like 380 grams of red leicester cheese but just look in the description box all the ingredients will be there and um yeah so just heating up our oils to go and fry up our prawns now you know prawns cook really quickly so you don't want to overcook it so i'm gonna cook it to the point where just the middle is a bit translucent because we don't want chewy prawns we still want to have a bit of a bite when i bite my prawns i want them to bite me back you know like <laughs> so we're just gonna do that and you kind of know when prawns is ready to turn because once they're in the oil if they move easily then they're okay to be turned or flipped if they kind of seem like they're sticking to the pot they're not ready so i'm gonna cook one side really well and the other we're gonna keep it translucent and i think i am going to show you exactly what that looked like but i'm not too sure i can't remember actually but we are going to see how they look they've obviously been turned in this clip they've already been turned and um semi showing you how it should be lifting i think after this i will definitely be taking them out and then in this part is where i will be making my cheese sauce and that is because it already has that seafood prawn infused flavor and then the oil is there the seasoning is there so it's all good i think i lost the clip for doing that but you know the the natural starting of a bechamel is um butter and powder butter and powder butter and a bit of flour and then i poured the, the double cream in there i do those green little things are chives I love using chives I love 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 using chives 
so we have chives in there we're gonna put some black pepper we're not gonna use any salt now the reason why we're not gonna use any salt is because cheese is very salty um, the seafood has been salted and you know Old Bay seasoning is very salty as well so like with all that salt it's unnecessary for us to use any more salt the pasta has been boiling in salt um, this recipe is something that I don't do very often just because it's of the high cholesterol intake, the high salt intake, the high fat intake really. I don't cook mac and cheese or bake mac and cheese very often, you know. I like my arteries being filled with blood and not fat. <laughs> but yes, but every now and again it is like very much a delicacy. You just want to sit. It's like comfort food. It like it just speaks to your soul. So here you can see me just melting all of this. As you can see I have not yet put the mozzarella in. But we're just melting it down it's looking thick and nice and this is kind of what i want i think later on in the clip i am going to add some a bit of milk a splash of milk just to get it in we're gonna get all that cheese in all that cheese in so the red leicester was half of the full amount of red leicester that i used um because obviously we need some cheese for the top like it's not done if there's no cheese on the top come on guys so we're just gonna get this in I usually put my mozzarella cheese in last and that's just because um, it melts faster than all the other cheeses in my opinion and we just want it to you know we just want it to melt the way we want it to melt I don't know I don't even think the, the, that the the way you put the cheese in matters but you know what in my head it does so that's what we're gonna do so as you can see I've added about a third cup of milk semi skim milk of course and we're just getting it to do what we need it to do we're gonna then go and add some mozzarella and black pepper and just keep turning it guys you know like cooking is a love language for me cooking is like self-expression if you feel led to put anything else in there and you like it then put it because that's what you like and it matters so just do and continue to do as you please I think at this point I was cutting open the, the, the container for the mozzarella um, the little bag that it comes in and it's pretty cheap you know like I've realized that I no longer like buying um grated cheese i prefer to grate it myself it's cheaper and um, it lasts longer and also you know like they put stuff on the grated cheese to not have it stick together so in this way where mine is stuck together and i'm still gonna use it but at least there's not that um those fibers on the grated cheese that prevents it from melting the way that it should so i'm just having this well not really simmer but it's on the heat i can see some bubbles but it's not really a matter and this is the big blob of <laughs> mozzarella cheese and I'm literally just gonna take a knife and just piece that into there because yeah we're not great in this just get it in and get to turn in um, you're gonna see some pull but not a lot of pull I'm okay with that I know some people want to see that pulling but honestly if I'm telling the truth when I see that pulling you know what I feel I feel like my chest is hurting me like there's certain things that just looks like they should taste good and then my brain goes like you know like although I'm not like the fittest person I am very like health conscious like I still take vitamins I'll take supplements if I need to you know things to keep my body as regulated as possible and as natural as possible because I don't really exercise and as a result I need to be sure everything is working I'll have like my checkups I'll have blood tests I'll have them do blood work and just check everything so like I'm kind of weird like that so for me seeing certain things I just be like oh my gosh all that grease all that oil <laughs> that's what goes through my head but here you can see me adding some black pepper and this is about it really and then we're going to go into the next clip where we are going to add some jerk seasoning now guys everything for me is spice like you know when beyonce song i got that in the beyonce song where she said i got the hot sauce in my bag swag like i am the hot sauce in my bag swag girl like there's hot sauce at work there's hot sauce at home there's hot sauce everywhere i love spicy foods so um i'm literally gonna spoon in like two 
tablespoons of this jerk seasoning not to get it give it really a jerk flavor but to give it some spice and i didn't want to use hot sauce i thought like i wanted something with a bit more flavor to it and i used the jerk seasoning i kind of that's all it really had in the jar anyway so that's what we use to give it a little kick so my food can bite me back when I bite it. You know I like food with personality. Who doesn't like food with personality? So we're going to just go ahead and stir it. As you can see, it's slowly, it's turned a bit of a color, but it's going to get back to where it should be. It's going to be nice. And we're just trying to make sure that all of it is melted. And then in the next clip, we'll come back and we will have our pasta before us. So yeah guys, now we have our macaroni, you can see we have those twisty curls, I actually don't know what it's called, but I, I think it's twist, twist, twist macaroni, I have no idea, but um, I do like odd shapes of macaroni, um, mac and cheese or macaroni pie, I really do, I like shells, I like the original macaroni style shape, I like the twisty curly ones, and as you can see my cheese sauce is there sat, my bacon dish, I've sprayed it with that one calorie olive oil spray, and guys I don't know where the clip went but let me just explain to you what I did so I poured the macaroni into the jar and then I put the cheese sauce in and then I put the the seafood in and I literally just mixed it in the bowl because I don't have no kids so I don't have anyone to tell wash the dishes so we are gonna conserve 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 as much as possible because after you've done a long day of cooking deciding to have to wash all those dishes is just really annoying so i try to not mess up as much as possible and if it can be done in the the bowl why not so um in the description i'll let you know what size um pyrex dish this is but i'm not too sure i know off of head so now i'm just gonna sprinkle some parsley on top of my macaroni you know some personality some bizarre some zhuzh <laughs> So yeah, we're gonna just do that and then I'm gonna show you a trick that I do when it comes to Pyrex dishes like this that don't actually have a physical handle. Um, it can be very difficult to take hot stuff like this out of the oven and you don't want to spoil your dinner. Like imagine you've done all this work and then you go to pull it out of the oven and you drop it. <laughs> what kind of faith is that? so as you can see i'm putting some foil on top so this prevents the the macaroni the macaroni this prevents the cheese on the top from browning too quickly um because um we don't want it to cook too quickly before and as you can see i've put it on a cookie tray guys this is my trick so when i take it out i'm taking out the cookie tray or the macaroni on the cookie tray but it makes it easier to hold so now it's been in the oven for about 20 minutes and I took it out so the cheese is all melted. It looks amazing. But now we just want it to get charred a bit on the top. So we're going to put it back in. We're going to take it out. And guys, <laughs> feast your eyes on the amazing seafood macaroni and cheese. It's so good guys. Like It tasted amazing, 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 amazing. It looked so good. It just has the right amount of baking and crust it's firm but not sloppy so I don't like macaroni and cheese where you take it out of the oven you cut it and you put it on the plate on the plate sorry and it completely just looks like soup that is not baked that looks like stovetop mac and cheese come for me if you want to come for me but I don't care but yeah, so this is the end of this video. This is my seafood baked mac and cheese and I hope you enjoy. Thank you guys for watching. And if you enjoyed watching me create this, remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more videos like this. If you'd love to see me create anything of your choice, if you just leave it in the comment section down below, I'll be definitely picking it up. And thank you guys so, so much for all the support. And remember, bon appetit.